and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. David your phone, the reflection from your phone is like really going in my eyes. You know like when Minnie chases that bit of light, look it's on the ceiling now. Hi, uh, and today I'm going to be talking about tracking my reading. So this is something that I think a few people have commented on when I've, I've put up um, a picture of my bullet journal for example, when I've got um, things about how I track my reading on there and people have commented and said oh I'd be quite interested to see more of that. So I thought I would do a video about uh, the different ways in which I track my reading as the years goes on. As the years, as the year goes on. Now I track it three different ways which might be a bit over the top but I enjoy them all and use them all for different reasons so I feel like it's necessary. So the first thing that I do which is my most detailed way of tracking my reading is I use this spreadsheet provided by Sophie from Portal in the Pages and I will link the video um, which has her spreadsheet in down below. Um, I find this really really handy. It's the only bloody thing I don't have because it's actually on my computer at work. I need to email it to myself or something to get it on my, work, uh, on my laptop here um, because I update it on my lunch at work. Um, and on that web, uh, on that spreadsheet, there's all number of things that you can keep track of, from um, the amount of pages in the book to the year it was published, to the genre, to the nationality of the author, to the sex of the author. Um, and I find that all really, really helpful. Um, uh, not only does it have um, a, a sort of book survey section where you can. Um, put in the details of that. It also comes up in the data so you can see what percentage you're doing and then it comes up in charts as well so you can see um, a pie chart of what the male to female ratio of authors you're reading is for example um, and I find that very very helpful particularly when I do um, a, uh, a reading re reading resolutions video or a reading resolutions update video I, I often refer back to that. Um, I also use this to, to track what books I, I uh, DNF, so books that I don't finish. Um, this is the only place that I track them because, um, well I, I mean I'll go on to why I don't track them in the other place but I, I normally, um, whatever date I start the books, so I, I input the books input the books onto the spreadsheet when I start them and then um, if I don't end up finishing them I grey them out so I'm quite clearly able to see which books that I haven't finished um, and that's how I got the data for my uh, data that's how I got the six books um, that I hadn't read that uh, I DNF so far this year and I, I, I made a video about that which I will also link down below um, so yeah so that's my most detailed um, method of keeping track of the books that I read and I just find it so so valuable um, I started it last year and it only lasted till sort of like mid-February but I really kept on top of it this year um, and I'm really proud of myself for doing so um, because it's just so easy to, to do that and you can even things down to um, even things down to like whether it's a, an audiobook a paperback or a hardback um, you've read that that's all on there as well so it's just it's just really interesting particularly like I mean I've been interested in the stats so far but the, the stats at the end of the year are going to be out of this world compared to what I normally have which is normally the Goodreads stuff so we'll go on to the next one the next way I track my um, track my reading is Goodreads which I have my Goodreads page open on my laptop right now. So I, I use the website of this if I'm updating on the website. I've also got the app on my phone, which I still use. Um, and I just find this is a very easy way and a, a great way to look at a list of books, particularly like with the reading challenge. So every year on Goodreads, you can set yourself a reading challenge um, of the amount of books you want to read. And it sort of tells you how up to date you are. So this year I set 100 books. Um, I wanted to read a lot more um, longer books, which I haven't really been doing. Um, but it can tell me that so far this year, I've read 78 books. Um, which is and I've completed 78% of my target obviously and I'm 12 books ahead of schedule so that sort of thing really easy nice stats to look at it also tells you the percentage you're through the book um, if you're if you don't read on a kindle so um for instance i'm i've started i'm, I'm, I'm on page 361 of 372 of the suicide club by um rachel heng so that's 97 percent of the way through the book so those sort of things it's very very easy to to look at your books what, what also i like to um, use this for is when i'm doing um, my best books of 2000 and 18 for instance or best books I've read so far. Something I used to use this is that you could then go onto the books that you'd um, you'd read in your reading challenge and you used to be able to filter instead of by date read by um, star rating which was really great for like being able to filter through um, the books that I'd read that year to um, use for my um, best books of 2018 or, or best books I've read so far. I've just gone on there now and it doesn't look like you can do that anymore. I don't know if that's just something that's disappeared for the time being. I'll be highly highly disappointed if that has but um yeah it's just it's just nice in terms of like you can look at all these front covers which i feel like is is 
is more enjoyable for me to look at than looking at a, um, a spreadsheet list of, of names. I can be like, oh yeah, I remember reading that. Oh yeah, I remember reading that. And it's just for me, images are much more evocative of memories and things rather than um, a typed a typed name on a spreadsheet. So yeah, so that's what I use Goodreads for. <laughs> um, and I, I find it very helpful. And like I say, I update it on the website. I update it um, uh, on my phone and I've always got it and I'm, I'm constantly updating it as well. Um, and then the last thing that I do, which is um, something I started um, my bullet journal, uh, like doing in my bullet journal um, which is more of a sort of visual thing like I don't know how much I'm going to actually get out of this in terms of data so what I do is I um, first of all I make a list of all the books that I've read um, so far I write them down and then depending on what month I've read it in I've got a little key here um, and I write them in different colours dependent on which month I also put next to it whether it was an audio book a proof or a book, a book sent to me to, from the publisher uh, a library book or a book that I own um, I also put next to it whether what sort of genre it is so these are quite broad genres uh, literary fiction non-fiction graphic novel picture book classic short stories crime young adult and poetry and then I put the star rating next to it so that's all done by um, color of which book um, I've read when and I put um, I used to put the date doesn't look like I put the date anymore no I don't um, and then I've got just a little thing where I color in the star uh, color in little boxes so for the first one is where are my books from so just look at this, and I haven't filled this out for July, uh, for August yet, so um, I've still got to do all that. Um, but I colour in, um, if it's if I own it myself, I colour it in blue. If it's from the library, it's in green. If it's an audiobook, it's in red. And if it's sent from a proof or a publisher, it's done in yellow. And then I do the genre, and then I also do the star rating. So I quite like the star rating, because then I can see um, what, what's it, what it's looking like. And I also quite like... I just like this being able to see the blocks and just feel like that's quite helpful. So I could look at there and see, oh, well, the most books, the majority of the genres that I've read this year have been yellow, which is non-fiction, and red, which is literary fiction. So I just feel like in terms of just looking at that, it's quite a good... I, I mean, like I said, I don't know how many prizes it's going to win me for, for, um, for data collection and, um, like accuracy but I just I saw it on a um, on a bullet journal page and I thought oh, I'd quite like to do that so yeah so that was just a really short video about the ways in which I track my reading would be very very interested um, to hear how you guys track your reading if you um, have more than one method that you do if you just use Goodreads if you just use the spreadsheet I'd really really be interested um, to hear how other people do this um, because I quite like being nosy and finding out how more people uh, how people do uh, track their reading so that's it from me today and I will see you all again soon for another victory video Goodbye!